On the News Extra program now for the rest of the hour, 7.51 at KNEB. And brought to you today by First State Bank in Scotts Bluff and Gehring. We have some folks in from Mitchell who are here to talk about their playground or playtime matters project. And it is about their playground and equipment there at Mitchell Elementary. And Playtime Matters Project uh, fundraiser is underway on various uh, levels. And we're going to talk with Beth Erdman, Jen Murphy, Sophia Fitz, and Landon Murphy, right? Yes. Good morning. All right. Welcome aboard. Uh, to all of you. I'll start with you, Beth. What uh, is going on? What's the project all about? So Mitchell Elementary is in dire need of a new playground. So uh, the PET, along with community members, is trying to get a new playground built um, over there. And hopefully this will be accomplished by spring of 2019. Um, So we have several fundraisers underway. Um, The first one is going to be the uh, Penny Carnival. That's this Friday, April 13th from 6 to 8. Um, At the carnival, we'll have a silent auction. Um, And we're going to have a bunch of different items. We have the big item is um, Rocky tickets. Um, They're going to be playing the Diamondbacks on June 10th. And then we have a bunch of assorted gift baskets, um, gift certificates. We've got fine art, photography, crafts and whatnot, all donated by local artists and um, families. So um, we're excited about that. And Um, as the name implies, games to play as well? Yep. um, Bring your kids and there's lots of games. Um, How many booths do we got? We've got 30 booths, cotton candy, an ice cream booth, photo booth, bounce houses, then your typical games like the cakewalk, um, and bingo. Concessions too, yeah. right? The student mm-hmm. council at Mitchell is going to be providing concessions. Uh, it'll be at the Mitchell Event Center from 6 to 8. Um, so out at the fairgrounds. Yeah. Out at the fairgrounds. Okay. Well, um, that will give you plenty of room to play. Yes, <laughs> it's a good time. Bring the kids down. Um, and then the next fundraiser we have is on May 5th. We're doing a fun run, a 5K fun run, walk, and a pancake feed. Um, like I said, that's May 5th. Uh, registration starts at 7 in the morning, um, and then the race and breakfast will begin at 8 in the morning. Um, if you want to get registered early and um, take advantage of discounts, you can do that online um, before April 20th. So just visit our Facebook page. Um, it's Mitchell Elementary Playtime Matters um, Project, and uh, there's a link right there that will take you to the registration. All right, very good. We'll visit more about this and get the student perspective as well when we come back after this. The Lorax said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. First State Bank wants to honor those who care and are making our valley better. We are recognizing unsung champions in our community who give back out of passion and caring, not for the praise. But we feel it's time to honor them. Please nominate champions at fsbcentral.com. Then tune in to KNEB TV the third Thursday of the month to see if your champion was selected. First State Bank, member FDIC. On the News Extra program, we're visiting with Beth Erdman, Jen Murphy, Sophia Fitz, and Landon Murphy, all from Mitchell about their Mitchell Elementary School playground project, the Playtime Matters project their penny carnival this friday evening six to eight out at the fairgrounds event center and then upcoming on may 5th their 5k fun run or walk and pancake feed and uh, any or all you can get involved in uh, very easily so sounds like a fun project but a serious one because this money just doesn't drop out of heavens and it's Mm. not really in the school board no. budget to do these kind of projects is it nope not at all um so yeah we're just having to come together as a community to make this happen for the kids so um we're needing about sixty five thousand plus dollars to really complete this and like i said we'd like to have this done by uh, spring of 2019 so watch because i'm sure we're going to do several fundraisers to get this money going what sorts of things are you looking for uh Swing um, sets, slides, I mean, I'm just thinking old school stuff. But yeah, what, what no, you it's about? just a great big play equipment group. I mean, there's several slides, um, different overhead activities like monkey bars, um, walkways, bridges. I mean, pretty much. Yeah. We're going to include a 
new swing set that is um, handicap accessible. Oh, yeah. It's more of a disc swing so that um, other children are able to. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Landon, let me talk to you about it. What What's your take on this? You You're invested in this deal. Um, I think our school does need a new playground because our old one, it's 20 years old and it's um, been getting broke down. There's cracks in the slide and I think we need a new playground for it. What what grade are you in? I'm in fifth. Okay, so it's uh, time to get some stuff done. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, Sophia, what about you? What's your take on this? It's It would be a good idea to get a new playground. It's The paint on it is really wearing off. Like Landon said, there are cracks in the slide, and the monkey bars aren't very good. They're um, not, yeah, they're not yeah. very good. All right. I have to think, too, that part of it is safety and, and uh, the upgrades Absolutely. that has come along in playground equipment and the surface that they play on, and it's just a whole lot different. Yeah. Nope. Yet yeah, we're we're in need of one. So yeah. here we are. One other thing I wanted to mention: um, we have teamed up with Oregon Trail Community Foundation. So if anybody out there would like to make a monetary donation, get a hold of them, and they can point you in our direction. Excellent. So you have some sponsors too that are yes. making all this possible. Tell um, us about that. Yeah, RNC Welding and Heritage Irrigation Service, Western Trails Health and Wellness, Reds Bar and Grill, Elite Physical Therapy, Steve's Truck, and then the Hain family. Um, they're all making the race possible. They're going to have pit stops for us and get the water out and snacks and whatnot. So it's going to be a fun day. So bring the family on down and. Um, walk the race or even just come to the pancake feed if you're not into doing the race you bet. and that again is on may 5th hopefully the uh, snow will be no cleared kidding, yep. <laughs> uh, we're doing it rain or shine so yeah. <laughs> come on down all right very good wear your snow boots if necessary right. no that will be it'll be a fine day <laughs> may 5th and uh, where are you going to start that morning at the school yep or? uh and the south parking lot is where the race will start um and the pancake feed will be in, in the cafeteria okay on on that day yep. and then again this friday six to eight we're out at the fairgrounds event center for the penny carnival yes thank you sounds like a blast yes all right thanks for coming by